So let's get going and start adding some songs into our Toby database. You can do that a variety of ways. First way here is to do a new song and you can click on browse here. Browse brings up the audio browser, which is a way of viewing the songs that you've got on your Myriad Playout audio wall. And uh, I know that our songs start from 3000, so I can type in here the range 3000 to 3000. 333 there we go and uh, we can see our songs here and then if you wanted to add one so we'll just choose this one here it brings in the data from the audio wall the first two lines of data here the way and daniel beddingfield and over here in category we can choose a category so we're going to we're going to concentrate around the a b and c list here for these tutorials so we're going to stick Daniel into the B list here. So what else do we have here on the card? Well, plenty of information. Browse, we can see brought up uh, the audio browser. Got the ability to play it here. So we can play it down in the one of the card players that we've got set up here. Uh, you've got the chance to edit it with smooth edit so you click on that and smooth edit will launch you've got the chance to change the uh, edit the intro and the outro and things like that and you can also go in and uh, add other bits and pieces on to the cards that means that information will come up in myriad playout if you're using that system so that opens it into smooth edit this one here imports some new audio into this cart number 3020 but we're quite happy with that reread the cart details so if someone has done some uh, changing on the audio wall in myriad playout you can reread that and that will update the information here might it will also update the uh, length intro outro that kind of thing if that's been changed and you also have the ability to change things in the card here and then rewrite those back onto the audio wall cart here on the myriad playout system so here we've chosen our category got the ability to look up and search the internet for details of this song here we can also click on the drop down to make sure that we've spelt daniel beddingfield right uh, we might already have a daniel beddingfield in there which is either spelt wrong or right and then we can change it and then that way we'll make sure that uh, we get a proper rotation of daniel beddingfield tracks if there are multiple artists you can add those in here in artist two and three uh, other location um, if it's come from CD or whatever, you might want to use that as a reference code. Song collection. Basically, you can add this song to a song collection. So maybe Daniel Bellingfield's got uh, three songs out at the moment, and you've got maybe some slightly different mixes of those. You can add uh, add the song into a new collection, which you could call uh, Daniel Bellingfield's latest and then you could add that song in and then uh, what will happen with auto track is it will treat all of those three songs as one item in the deck so once it's selected a daniel beddingfield it will kind of move all of those other tracks down as well it just basically means that you won't uh, end up being uh, sort of surrounded by daniel beddingfield in your playlists we can add our types um, and our gender and our era we've added those in also have the ability here this is a new in version 4 to add an alternative category now before the way you used to have to do this is you had to remove the song number and basically re-add it in as a song which kind of skewed your reports and statistics as to how many songs you had on your database but here if you can't quite decide whether or not it should be uh, on the B list as well as in your gold category or your pop category then you have the ability to add an alternative category category right here which is a uh, really handy and uh, so they're the main details within the, the the song card and then you have a variety of different bits and pieces that uh, result from depending on which tab you've got here so uh, this is the first tab and if we had some styles here we could uh, tag those so uh, what I think I'll do is I'll go in and add some styles let's do that shall we we go to songs and styles and we'll have that as uh, we'll double click in this first box here and we'll have that as uh, Friday night out there's some stars that we've added there uh, if we OK those and uh, what we'll do is we'll go back into this card and then we'll see those stars so if we just uh, 
we'll just add this to our database so we'll do apply and that's now in our B list and uh, this will give us the opportunity to show you how to search for that so uh, we can just go to search and we can type in Daniel Beddingfield and there's our track if we double click on that then our card comes back up so there's our card we've added in bits and pieces so there's our style so here we could have that as a Friday night out and uh, British and so like I said with styles you can it can be a member of many styles you can just pick whichever you want so going into setting our tempo at the start and the end so uh, we get our piece our, our mixer Listen. so we just turn that down a little bit And so we can choose our tempo, so uh, say fast. Now the benefit of sticking the numbers in the front of it means that you could go in there and uh, we'll listen to the end. Just click on end there, plays the end of the song for us. And uh, maybe it ends just slightly slower. So there I've just pushed number three on the keyboard and that automatically fills it in there, three, medium. Medium, uh, I'd, say it's pretty, I'd say it's pretty happy, both sides. So that finishes off there. We can uh, eject down there in the car player once we're happy that we've set our start and end. So that's setting our tempo mood. And if we set any other characteristics, they'd fill up this box here. Now, bound item. This is a new feature. It's going to be inserted. This will be inserted into the log next to this song each time it's scheduled. So uh, an example use of that is that you can have a little uh, insert that just says, Hi, this is Daniel Bedingfield and you're listening to Hot FM. And uh, here's my latest track or something like that. Then you could drag that link into here and you have the option to play it before or after the song so uh, that's quite clever so you can uh, click in here if you know the id of the link i'm not sure whether we've added any links oh yeah there we go we've added uh, id number one you can see drag it in there and you have the choice before or after or you can just drag it from the links deck if you uh, don't want that anymore just click on the x so that's bound items and every time you drag that song in it will bind that id with it at the front down here in other information uh, this is where you have the ability to say that when it's scheduled throw it only halfway down the deck so in other words that will quicken up its rotation you've got the release year which is automatically filled in with the current year that we're in the length of the track the intro start the intro end and the extra point and also how it ends now you can see that it's not been set here on the audio wall so we can click on this play plays the last few seconds of it kind of a sustained ending so we can click on sustain here now uh, if we resend that one through we can update the cart on the myriad playout audio wall with that sustain information and so we can just click on that and then that way it's gone through and it's there now so that's the more tab we go into here this is the restrictions tab so if you'd like to restrict when this song is played maybe it's just a little bit too hard for between one and four in the morning you could just left click select and those blocks here so basically between the midnight hour and the three o'clock hour so from midnight until 4 a.m it won't play seven days a week in this slot and maybe if you want to click on 23 then that way it won't start at 11 o'clock at night so that's how you would restrict something you can just left click on these and change them between red and green green means it'll schedule red means it won't run date and time so you could say that uh, don't start playing this until a certain date and also you can finish playing it after a certain date and then kill dates kill dates are very interesting and again another new feature within autotrack pro kill dates allow you to set a time when the song would be removed either from the category or removed from the whole audio wall itself also have the ability to override the normal separation so again if you wanted this to come around quicker or actually slower then you could override the normal separation for this particular one song you also have a, an ability to save that restrictions grid so you, if you wanted to you could say uh, this one uh, no play 23 
to 04 and then we can OK that and that will add it and then that way we can select that one next time if we find there's another song that we uh, don't want and that and then we can just load that up and it will remember that restrictions grid so that's the restrictions tab into notes you've got the ability to set studio notes so these are notes that will come up when the song is played uh, from myriad playout and then web notes these are notes that could go through to your website uh, if you're running with ocp on your system so that will send through those notes that will then appear on your website or other out outputs where your data goes rds perhaps chart peak you can uh, stick in what chart position it reached the highest chart position that it reached and then bpm you can set your bpms either just by typing it in or you can click that every time a uh, beat comes along and it will sort out your bpm for you if it's part of an album part of work you might want to stick in the name of the album in there as well you have the ability to into rights this deals with the copyright prs ppl that kind of thing and uh, the various other rights agencies and you can click here to copy the data across from the first two lines the song title and the artist and then you can type in your recording name and you can actually do a search here a web database search about the song so you can click on there and it'll do a little bring up bring up the PPL website and here you can type in Daniel Beddingfield Daniel Beddingfield and a recording title this way the way okay and then we can just do a search here and then we can see here that these are the details and we can use that to then fill out the we can copy that copy and let me close this down close that down and we can stick that in there control V to paste that in we can type in the other details as we want them as well and then when we're happy we can click on apply move move is a new feature in AutoTrack Pro 4 and this enables you to set um, well moves basically so let's just let's just save that card and then we click on here and we can say move to a different category and we've got options here we can move it on a specific date and we can move it after a set number of plays so uh, we're going to do set number of plays so we're going to say uh, once it's been played 30 times we can move it down to our C list yeah because uh, the our C list is going to rotate slower than the B list and uh, even slower than the A list that's how we're going to run our radio station here and uh, so once we've done that we can click that in then that's all okay and we could then add a further one we could say um, after another 30 plays move it into the sort of general pop category so there you go so it's going to uh, move it to the C list after 30 plays and then from the C list after another 30 plays into pop and we can see here the current number of plays that we've got in the current category is zero because we we're only just adding it if we were going back to a song that we've already uh, added then we could reset that if we wanted to so that's future moves another new feature uh, history enables you to bring up history of either this particular song uh, the song and the artist uh, or the song title so there might be some other songs here in our database called the way we could bring up artist history and we can also bring up some more history here and that brings up our bigger history window so we can see when it's been scheduled and how often the rotation is and so we'd be able to see our data and how many times it played and in which hours on which dates and we can also see down here uh, when it was uh, tested and rejected but we've got no data for this at the moment because uh, we're only just adding it at the moment so uh, once we're happy with that we've added in all our details we can click on OK